coming up on the Empowered Woman Podcast. So if you are the extroverted, like, hey, everybody, look at me. Here's my microphone. Just know that the podcast world is made for lurkers. But if you know anything about lurkers is that lurkers are buyers and cheerleaders are not. Okay. So the most active people in your audience, they're usually not the ones buying, but the ones that kind of swoop in like at the last second when you're, you know, closing down, you know, your car, those are the people that are like, I'm here to support you. And those are the people that usually, at least in my experience, they have the most results because they have been observing so much that they just, they're ready for action. Welcome to the Empowered Woman Podcast, the number one show on personal growth, visibility, and profit for women entrepreneurs. If you're wanting to get empowered to be seen, stand out on social media, stages, TV, and more to make an impact with your voice in business, you're in the right place. I am so glad that you're here. My name is Marta Spurk, and I'm your host, empowerment coach, visibility and marketing expert, and all things motivation extraordinaire. Welcome again, and let's dive into today's episode. All right. So I already went live on Monday to talk a little bit about um, podcasting and that I was going to be doing this live. Obviously, June is a podcast month for me because five years ago, almost five years ago, I launched my podcast, The Empowered Woman. Uh, It was called actually Mom Does It All at the time. (laughs) I will share all my stories soon. Um, But I'm going to be celebrating five years, June 24th. And then As you may have noticed, I am doing all the collabs this year. Every other month, I am collabing with somebody amazing that has amazing, you know, expertise and in a different zone of genius of mine. And I decided to collab with a podcast expert who is my friend, Juliana. Yay! So I wanted to bring up this conversation about podcasting, because that's something that uh, many people talk, well, I talk a lot about you being a guest on podcasts to increase your visibility. But one of the things that I kind of brush on, but I don't really get into is that I tell my clients, I say, or start your own, because I'm of the opinion that sure, you can apply to all the speaking engagements, and you can try all these different things. But you can also host your own events, and then you be the speaker in your own events. And the same concept applies to podcasts. Sure, you can be sending out a bajillion applications, you know, guest forms to be in other people's podcasts, but have you considered actually starting your own? Because then you have control of when you actually go live and when you talk. But I know people have concerns. They're like, but uh, I don't know. It's just, I'm I'm working on too many things. Everybody's always working on so many things, right? And it's like, I can't start a podcast now, or I've always wanted to start a podcast, but that's a project for like 2026. Whenever I hear these kinds of things, I'm like, friend, what are you doing with your life? (laughs) If you want to start it, make a plan and get it started. I mean, that's how my mind operates anyways. But I'll shut up now because, you know, I can talk for forever. You didn't introduce yourself. Tell us all the things. (laughs) Hello, um, I'm Juliana Barbati. I'm a podcast strategist and I've been podcasting for three years. So May was my third year podcasting. And I started my podcast with with an amazing audience of zero and grew it organically to a top 1% podcast. And I just love it, you know, and just to bring back to what you're saying, Martha, is that, you know, you get to create your opportunities and nothing like a podcast where you have so much control over what you're putting out to do that in, because we're not in control of social media. You know, you might be able to, you know, jump in the reels, you know, wagon for a little bit and you might really understand that, but then they're going to change the algorithm, right? So it's like, the the goal is always changing with pod, with, um, with Instagram and TikTok, but with a podcast, it's a stable algorithm, right? Like there are subtle shifts here and there, but ultimately I really feel like, if you understand podcasting and the very basic rules of podcasting, you're going to make it and you're going to be just fine. So whether you have a small audience or no audience, or you have a huge audience, podcasting is the place to be. Also, because let's face it, like when was the last time somebody messaged you to tell you, oh man, I just spent the last 15 minutes binging on your content on Instagram Mm -hmm. versus like, I just found your, your podcast, like episode 100. And I went back and listened to episode one and I'm in love. Like, how can we work together? So those things happen in the podcast world, Instagram and like other things like, Oh, does it, does that happen? 
I haven't, I haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Well, so basically the answer to the million dollar question here is podcasting right for you and your business is yes, (laughs) but we're going to get into more details on pretty much handling any sort of uh, hesitation, resistance, or objection that you that are watching us here on Facebook or listening to this podcast episode, how meta is this, um, that you may have in thinking, you know, just like what I said, I'm way too busy and I can't add something else to my plate. That's like the number one thing I hear from women across the board all the time that I work with. Like I'm, I'm on three different programs. I can't join (laughs) this other one. You know, I'm launching this other offer. I can't launch this other one, whatever. So yeah, time is one of the things, uh, let me just think about some, and then you can kind of walk us through it. Um, we also talk about tech, like it's going to take too long, too much. Am I going to have to hire somebody right to edit the episodes? I don't have that budget. I don't have that kind of budget to you know, be paying for different tools and programs and software to be uploading. I think one of the other concerns is, do I even have something to talk about? Like, what am I going to be talking about and creating? Something else that always comes to mind, obviously, because I work so much with personalities using the Enneagram, using human design, is I am so extroverted and I don't know if I can be consistent, right? Or the flip side, I'm so introverted, I think I will probably, you know, be sweating as I'm recording just with my microphone and there's no one there yet, you know? So is it right for me if I'm this or if I'm that? And the bottom line answer is yes, it's right for everyone and something else niche, right? Is my niche even a thing or is it oversaturated, right? There's so many other people that already have shows on this. Like, why would I even bother? So Go for it, Juliana. Tell us. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about what stood out to me the most. Let's let's start with personalities. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you are the extroverted, like, hey, everybody, look at me. Here's my microphone. Just know that the podcast world is made for lurkers. But mm-hmm. if you know anything about lurkers, is that lurkers are buyers and cheerleaders are not. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the most active people in your audience, they're usually not the ones buying. But the ones that kind of swoop in like at the last second when you're, you know, closing down, you know, your car, those are the people that are like, I'm here to support you. And those are the people that usually, at least in my experience, they have the most results because they have been observing so much that they just, they're ready for action, you know? So as long as you go into podcasting, understanding that, but also like what I just mentioned before, like you can have somebody's undivided attention for 15 minutes because here's what does not happen inside of the podcast app. Somebody else goes live, they're not going to get a notification. So and so is live, right? If like, you know, like they're not pulling their attention, right? Like when they're in your episode, they're in your episode for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, that's not the case, right? Like, or whatever other platform, short lived platform. Another thing is, is that the content that you create today, it'll be listened to two, three years from now, right? Mm -hmm. So the content never dies. On Instagram, the longevity is very, very little, right? Like you put out a reel, it might go viral at best. Like let's look at best case scenario, it'll go viral. And then what? Like everything dies down eventually, right? But on a podcast, it's like steady, right? So it happens very often where somebody will listen to you, whatever episode you're on, episode 50, right? And they'll go back and listen to episode one because they want to know what you're all about, right? So your podcast, it's like this lead generating machine that's working for you while you sleep, which is the dream, right? Also, it's available whenever, wherever, right? So how many times have you like, you're jumping on a flight and you download a bunch of episodes or you're going on a road trip or whatever, you can't sleep at night and you're like, let me listen to some episodes, right? So you also become part of somebody's day, right? So you become part of somebody's routine. So they might be making coffee and listening to you. They might be going for a walk and listening to you. So you're built into somebody's routine. So that is what I want to say about the extroverted people. Like, just know that you're not going to get people like throwing roses at you virtually because it's not the platform. So just be ready for that. Okay. Now for the introverts out there, lucky you, like, listen, most days you're going to find me my PJs and my mom bun. Okay. I'm not even going to lie. I'm wearing PJs right now and like a cute shirt because I'm a podcaster. I am like, listen, I just want to hide all day and, and like, that's my life. Um, I'm actually an ambivert, but I tend to lean on the introvert side. Um, So it is perfect for introverts because you just get to show up and speak and just know that people are listening. And it's great because you don't know, like, there's not that pressure of like, who is it that's like watching my stuff? Like, it's 
secret. Yeah. Like nobody knows. You just see your download numbers, but nobody knows. So yeah. what do you think so far? No, I think this is great. It's it's such, I mean, there's a disclaimer of, especially for the extroverts, and I so totally felt attacked. Nobody's going to be throwing roses. What do you mean? I need the roses. <laughs> but it's also comforting in the sense that I don't have to look a certain way and I can still trust that that is helping people warm up to me. Right. Because just like what you said, it's that intimacy that in social media you don't get. And I love your point of there's not as many distractions, right? I mean, you can get distracted by your actual environment. Kids are crying. You need to turn it off, whatever you're driving. Uh, But other than that, it's very different from social media where it just stays there for a few seconds and then you're on to the, to the next thing. So that is, that is very valid. T- talk to us a little bit about um, in terms of the content that you're going to be putting out uh, maybe for the ones that are scared about, you know, there's so many other podcasts about this. How am I going to make mine stand out? So first of all, I know you've heard, you have heard this before, but the way that you present your content is like nobody else, right? So there's always something that you do. There is a spin that you put onto things, right? Like that is, that's you, whether you see it or not, there is a specific way that you do things. So I have a, a podcast about marketing, but it's so much more than that, right? Like it's the way that I talk about in my, the things in my episodes, it really is, um, I'm talking to the person who's probably a mom or if she's not a mom, she is a single woman just traveling the world. She's sticking flexibility. She didn't get into entrepreneurship because she was an entrepreneur. She got into, into, into entrepreneurship because she wanted the flexibility to make money from wherever and do whatever she wanted, you know? So my episodes are geared towards her. And it took me a long time to understand that, like lots of years of in coaching for me to actually understand, like, this is who I talk to. You know, so the way that that you teach your thing, it's different than anybody else. Okay, so just get that out of your head and also like type up marketing in the podcast app and see how many podcasts come up, right? Like, yeah, there are other people talking about it, but what you bring to the table is different. And like, if you were talking in terms of I'm going to go to college and like get a marketing degree or a doctor's degree or a psychology degree, like we don't tell people like that's too saturated. Don't do that. But like in the entrepreneurial world, we're like, oh man, there are too many people. Oh, BS. No, we're not here for that. Gotcha. So, and again, like you just have to believe in yourself that people will listen to your message. Plus the beauty about podcasting is that there is an algorithm that works in your favor and you have just as much of a chance to rank in the podcast app as the coach next door. Meaning I started my podcast with an audience of zero and I have a top 1% ranked podcast worldwide. That is because again, like if you look at my podcast and you scroll down based on my podcast, Apple will say, you may also like this podcast. Mm -hmm. Now, in the beginning of my journey, I used to talk about Etsy, Etsy coaching, Etsy things. So there will be like one or two, maybe three podcasts that are Etsy related, but then you keep scrolling. It puts me in the same category as Jenna Kutcher. Like I'm not huge like Jenna Kutcher, Mm -hmm. right? But Apple knows that I'm like talking about marketing and things like that, you know? So you just have to be able to leverage SEO, which is like people's like, like what? I see what people start to freak out. Yeah. But the way that I teach SEO, it's super simple. Like have no fear. Nobody mm-hmm. can teach SEO the way that I can teach SEO. It's super simple. And it's not, we're not, you know, don't compare it to like website SEO, like SEO instead okay. of a podcast app. It's the easiest it's thing ever. Okay. Ooh, that's, that's already gold right there. Because when people think SEO, they generally think blogs, right? Mm-hmm. And- the copy on yes. your website, but there's a different type of right. System. Like podcast. it will not take you a whole year for you to start ranking for your keywords inside of a podcast app. You can start ranking right away, which is bananas for you to think that if you know how to leverage the right keywords, which is not even that hard, you can you can rank right away. That's Amazing. crazy. Amazing. Well, talk to us about tech because that's the other thing, right? I don't have time. I'm already in too many programs, Juliana. I cannot start my podcast and I don't have the the money to invest in this right now. So that's not going to happen. What do you say to this person? <laughs> okay. So I actually started my podcast with just using my Apple headphones, just like this. Um, and that's what I used. And then I upgraded to something like this, which is a gamer headset. Um, not the most glamorous thing, but it was 20 bucks. And I'm like, I'm here for it. 
at the time when I, was, I started podcasting, I had a two-year-old and a four-year-old. So, you know, they destroy everything. Mm-hmm. So because the gamer headset is a two-in-one, it has like the headphones and the microphone, I could like put it away and nobody would find it. Yeah. So this is what I use. And it's, it's what I use to this day. Most of the time it is my janky gamer headset, which is not the most, you know, photogenic thing, mm-hmm. but I like it. Yeah. Now, because I'm a little bit vain, I got myself a blue Yeti. Now, the blue Yeti, fancy. everybody loves, right? Yeah. But if I'm being honest, it is not the most, it's not the best pod, a podcasting microphone. I bought bought it knowing that, but it makes oh. for a great prop. I couldn't help myself. So okay. it was on sale and I'm like, I'm just going to buy it, you yeah. know, but you know, it was a hundred bucks, you know, so Point is, you can start where you are at. And also, I have recorded episodes for my phone. I wouldn't recommend that you do that for every single episode. Yeah. But also, there are so many huge podcasters that do this too, where they're in they're in their car driving and they grab their phone and they record an episode. So if they can do it, you can do it too. Again, it's about letting go of the perfectionism. I think podcasting will be a, a full lesson, a full life lesson in letting go of the perfectionism because the more you can just be here for the ride, the more success you're going to have. Mm. So yeah, start with why if you already have a microphone, if you have even like a lapel mic, as long as there's no like jewelry or your hair getting stuck on it, you're going to be fine, you know? Mm. And again, like you can start with something like 20 bucks or something like a hundred bucks. You're going to be good. You're going to be fine. Love it. So many amazing tips. Well, I, I, I'm thinking this is typically like a interview that I would run for the podcast, but we're doing things a little bit differently because you're going to have a chance to talk more about yourself in something that we have coming up, which I'm super excited to talk about. Uh, So the whole reason why, friends, we're doing all of this is because there's something else (laughs) behind this episode and this this interview and this conversation is that we came up with um, a way of going into more detail on everything that we're just telling you right now. So basically, the, 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 the lowdown is Yes, you should start a podcast if you don't already have one. And if you already have one and you're wanting to, just like uh, Juliana was saying, uh, in, improve your SEO, right? Improve your rankings, um, improve or gain more listeners. And then, which means more leads and more sales for your business, we're going to get into more detail into something that we call the podcast takeoff, which is a five-day free audio experience. So we decided to create a podcast to talk about podcasts because why not <laughs> to show you how easy it is. You could just, you know, launch something real real quick. We're going to have five episodes plus a bonus one. Uh do you want to talk more about it? Tell us more. <laughs> yes. So we're really going to dive deep into like our journeys, what it looks like. I'm going to give you, I'm going to spill away some of my secrets so that you understand that wherever you are in your journey, whether you don't have a podcast, but you want to, you know, you've been podcasting in the shower since 2020, and now it's time to actually podcast for real, or you already have a podcast, but it feels like a little bit stagnant. Uh, We're going to reveal some tricks that we have up our sleeves throughout um, this five-day journey so that you can understand uh, that this gets to be easy and podcasting can be the thing that when you think about creating content, we create content for the podcast first. Mm -hmm. And then because we're savvy and we're all about simplifying our lives, everything comes off of the podcast, right? So we can recycle content from the podcast, but also if we don't want to, if all we want to do is show up on the podcast, that's totally possible because hello, I deleted my Instagram account like last November and I haven't been back since then. So it's been like, it's been a hot minute. I'm not a TikTok person. I'm not, I, you know, I tried LinkedIn for five minutes. I was like, it's not for me, <laughs> you know? So podcasting is my thing. I love podcasting. I can show up, you know, my PJs podcast away. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're going to be breaking down inside of those, that the five day journey, which is going to be epic. It is. It's going to be so exciting. So basically, this is a teaser. If you are already inclined to wanting to start a podcast, or maybe you still have some questions, we're going to be covering it all and it's free. So I'm going to pop the link, but it's marchesburg.com forward slash podcast takeoff. And you're going to be able to to register. It is going to be available started June 19. So you can register to make sure you get the notification when we're going to send you the link to be able to access this exclusive secret podcast that we're calling an audio experience, uh, where every day we're going to have a new episode short because we're all about, you know, simplifying things. We're both moms. 
(laughs) right? So short and sweet, we're going to keep it to like 10, 15 minutes each, maybe less. I don't know. And talking about specific things like, you know, how, how, how it has helped me increase my visibility, how you can even not depend on social media so much and leverage your podcast, which is what you just said, which basically are all of the benefits. Cause as you were talking, I was thinking, all right, how can we close this off and telling people, Hey, yes, podcasting is right for you and your business. Here are all the benefits. So I'll, I'll touch on some and then whatever I don't touch on, you can say, but basically it is, it's another touch point with your audience. If you are already leveraging social media. So it's a way of repurposing your content in a format that may be more user-friendly for some people that are already super into podcasts. So then they're, they're able to tune into your content that way. And you get to be more intimate with them. There's not as many distractions. I'm borrowing some of your stuff. Um, and, but for me, it's, it's really been, okay. So let me talk about myself for a minute as the extrovert that I am, the speaker that I am, the, I need to talk for hours on end that I am. It gave me so much freedom to refine my message because now I get to come here because I have this a commitment that I'm going to record an episode a week. And when I first started the podcast, I actually did two a week for a while. And I'll, I'll be sharing that inside podcast takeoff. Don't you worry. But it was just this outlet for me to not have to sit and think about what I'm going to write. Just like what you said, I can just vomit this stuff, obviously with structure. And then With that, repurpose it for social media content for my email list and for all of that. So, and oh, the other thing that I always say is having that card up your sleeve when you want to connect with somebody. Because if you meet somebody that you really like or somebody that you think may be a potential uh, partner, a potential client, what is something you can do besides, hey, let's schedule a one on one Zoom connection call? It's, can I interview for my podcast? People feel extremely flattered, right? You build this bond. We're going to share this thing forever in the eons of time where I interviewed you. And this has served me really well in my business, I'm going to tell you, in building relationships. So it's another way of networking that is public networking because then you get to repurpose that as content. So it's amazing. What are some of the benefits that you can add to this? (laughs) Yeah, and I just want to add, like I have a client, she has had so many amazing people in her podcast just come and like she built those connections because of the podcast, you know, nobody would have come to her and like maybe done an IG live with her, but because it's a podcast, Mm -hmm. right? Like people are like, yes, let me come on your podcast because it's just so fancy, you know? Also, I just want to say like in the podcast world, there's not this pressure of look at me and all my followers because nobody knows, like we don't even know as podcasters, like we can look on Apple, we can look on Spotify, we can have an idea, but we honestly don't know how many people are like actually subscribe to our podcast as number one. The only thing that the public has to to look at your your podcast is how many reviews, but that's not even super helpful because like if I'm in the United States, I can only see how many reviews are left in the US, right? Oh. So if you are in Europe, like I don't know people who have left me reviews in Europe, I have no idea who they are. Unless like I buy like an extra thing to see if so the point is like there's nothing like on Instagram like oh man like how many followers and we care about right. follower count. It does not matter in the podcast world. You mm-hmm. could have an amazing top ranking podcast without like, you know, all the bells and whistles of social media where you have to know how many followers and all these things, you know? So yes. I think the vanity metrics, like they really go away in the podcast world, which I think sometimes people are like, they start podcasting and they go in with the wrong idea of what podcasting is going to be like. And again, they're expecting, you know, the virtual roses be throwing, be yeah. thrown at them and they, they quit too soon. Yeah. So if you just stick with it, like you can be like me and then three years later have a top, you know, 1% ranking podcast or be like you five years in and have a top half percent podcast. You know, it's just about thinking long-term and just knowing like whenever you feel like quitting, just look at, log in on wherever you host your podcast and see how many people listened to it yesterday. And I guarantee you, like, there are going to be some downloads on there. And you just don't know. You know, another thing I want to say is that let's just say that you put out a podcast episode and it gets 50 downloads, okay? Can you put out an Instagram post and get 50 likes? Mm, Probably not. Right. You know know what I'm saying? But, like, 50 downloads. If it's, like, a picture of my dog or my kids, I can get 100. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But then, like, you know. People are falling in love with their dog. Exactly. It's not the same thing. It's not turning into sales. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you know, 
So listen. don't take that for granted. You know, like every download counts, especially because you know that they're with you for those 10 to 15 yeah. minutes that you're speaking into the mic, which brings me to my next point. You don't have to podcast for an hour. You don't have to podcast for 45 minutes, for 30 minutes. You know, you don't, you're, the goal is not to be the next Joe Rogan and have like three hour long episodes. Right. Oh my God. You know, 15 minutes is the way to go. Yes. Yes. That's what we're here for. Yes. That's what we're here for. I love that so much. Love all the things that you brought up. And for the ladies that are watching us, let us know if you have any specific questions, but basically this is what we have for you. We want you to understand a little bit more about the podcasting journey, how Juliana can help uh, you get started with your podcast. Cause that's something else that we're going to be covering ways that you can work with her for you to get started. And also ways that you can work with me so that I can help you with the visibility, help you land guests and, you know, be on other people's podcasts. Cause it's, it makes a difference when you're applying to say, I have this podcast. That's something else. So I, I talked about the card up the sleeve. When you say, hey, want to swap? That's so much more interesting. And I'll speak for myself. I'm so much more interested in having a guest on my podcast that can also have me on their podcast than not. I mean, obviously, unless it's like somebody that doesn't have a podcast, but it's like, I don't know. I think Tony Robbins probably has a podcast, but he's like, can I be on your podcast? Marcia? <laughs> I don't need a swap. <laughs> I will have it. Anyway. So yeah. Join us for podcast takeoff, and you're also going to learn about uh, an amazing way to work with us and increase your visibility by launching your podcast or growing your podcast if you already have one. So we can we can help both people, right? Yes. <laughs> hint, hint. Like if if you're here for visibility, like podcasting is the way to go. One thousand percent. Stop spinning your wheels and your else in the world. Podcasting is it. It's amazing for visibility. It really is. Uh, thank you so much, Juliana. So I'll pop the link once again, martisburg.com forward slash podcast takeoff. You can register right now and all of the audios are going to be available starting June 19th. So stay tuned so that you have access to it. Anything else you want to add, Juliana, before we... No, that's it. I am super excited. I cannot wait for you ladies to dive in and listen up to all the juicy things we have coming up for you. It's going to be so good. So good. All right. Thanks. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope this episode empowered you. And if you enjoy the show, please join the Empowered Woman community on Facebook and share with friends or leave a review on iTunes so more people can discover this empowering message. Until next time, bye.